A solar storm is crashing into Earth like a cosmic tsunami. First, the atmosphere ignites, sparking massive auroras. High-energy radiation slams into the surface, frying power grids, turning lights off across continents, and knocking out satellites. Planes lose navigation, radios go silent, GPS systems crash, radiation levels spike dangerously. Communication collapses, emergency services scramble in the darkness, and chaos spreads as people struggle to cope. Solar particles start to strip away the very air we breathe, slowly peeling off our atmosphere. Soon, Earth will become a harsh and hostile place. That's what solar activity can do to our planet and its inhabitants if we didn't have a protective shield called the magnetosphere. But even with this barrier, we're still in for serious problems. A mysterious 100-year solar cycle may have just restarted, and it could mean decades of dangerous space weather. New research suggests that the unexpected intensity of the ongoing solar maximum may be partly tied to a lesser-known 100-year solar cycle. If the Sun is indeed entering its villain arc, solar activity could spike even further in the coming decades. It means more solar flares, more chances of them messing with satellites, and way more of those crazy northern lights people keep posting on Instagram. Sure, not everyone's buying it. Some space nerds want more proof before jumping on this solar hype train. Let's break it all down into detail first. The Sun goes through a kind of mood swing every 11 years. This is called the solar cycle. It starts off at a solar minimum, which is pretty chill, then slowly gets rowdy. We're talking sunspots, solar flares, and other fiery drama. Once we reach solar maximum, the situation starts to calm down again. The sun gets sunspots, dark patches on its surface, like the freckles we humans have, when its magnetic field starts flipping out. Literally, the sun's magnetic field completely flips during peak solar drama, Scientists track how many of these spots show up to measure how spicy the sun is getting. But wait, plot twist, there are other cycles too. Like the Hale cycle, which occurs around every 22 years. This cycle controls how magnetic fields move across the sun. Plus, way back in history, there were moments when the sun basically went on do not disturb mode. During the Maunder minimum, our star was basically in sleep mode for 70 years. In other words, the Sun might be entering a new extra phase, and things could get dramatic. On the bright side, that means more auroras. At the same time, it could also cause issues for satellites, GPS, and other stuff we rely on. Ugh, let's just hope it doesn't mess with YouTube. This extra phase is called the Centennial Gleisberg Cycle. It's basically the Sun's once every 100 years I do something weird moment. Scientists think it messes with how intense sunspot cycles get. No one has fully worked out how this cycle works yet, but some low-key sloshing of magnetic fields inside the sun might be causing it. Yep, I did say sloshing, like a giant cosmic smoothie. A recent study from March 2025 claims that the CGC might have just hit restart. That could explain why this current solar maximum the Sun's drama phase that started in early 2024 is being so weird and unpredictable. How did researchers figure this out? They looked at something called proton flux. Basically, it's how many positively charged particles are flying around in Earth's radiation belt. There are two of these belts, shaped like donuts that wrap around Earth, full of particles from the Sun. The thing is, when the Sun is active, our upper atmosphere swells, which makes the inner radiation belt lose some of those protons. And when the Sun is chill, proton numbers go up again. So those protons have been increasing for like 20 years, but just started to drop in the past year. Which basically screams, CGC has just hit minimum. Time for the Sun to crank it back up. The data came from NOAA satellites that flew through the South Atlantic anomaly, which is like the Bermuda Triangle of space. It's this bizarre zone over South America where Earth's magnetic field is weaker and space radiation gets closer to Earth. 
This area is perfect for observing proton activity without sending a satellite into the actual danger zone. So, right now, we're probably nearing the end of the Sun's current chaos phase, aka the peak of Solar Cycle 25. Back in May 2024, it hit us with one of the craziest geomagnetic storms in 500 years or so. And yes, that means super bright auroras lighting up skies all over the world, even in places that usually only get clouds and vibes. But the scariest thing? This wasn't supposed to happen. During the last cycle, the sun was oddly calm. So NASA and NOAA looked at that and thought that the next solar cycle would probably be the same. No biggie. Well, they were wrong. And they even admitted it. Now, scientists think that SC24's quiet phase was because of the centennial Gleisberg cycle being at its low point. That probably made it the quietest sunspot cycle in 100 years. So now that SC25 is lit again, pretty literally, it might just mean the sun is back to doing what it normally does, being a little chaotic and wild. Recent studies think the CGC minimum is finally over. That would explain why the current solar activity is turning up the heat and why the last one felt like a cosmic snooze. An even cooler thing is that a 2024 study used AI to analyze sunspot patterns and found that CGC might be messing with our forecasts more than we thought. And if this long-term mood swing of our star is really back on the rise, future solar cycles could be just as wild as the one we're in now, or even wilder. After all, we've just passed the CGC's low energy mode, and we won't hit the next maximum for another 40 to 50 years, around solar cycle 28. That's a few decades away, but the sun's already throwing tantrums. The scariest part is that future solar activity might be twice as intense as what we're seeing now. You might be wondering right now, why should I care? Well, because when the sun freaks out, it messes with our stuff, especially in space. Satellites get dragged out of orbit because Earth's upper atmosphere literally puffs up like a marshmallow in a microwave when solar activity spikes. And this has already happened to a few spacecraft recently. And with tons of private satellite mega constellations like Starlink and its squad, the risk goes way up. There are some, even though those are few, that might not be ready for a full-blown sun rage event. Time to wear SPF 100 for your satellites. Astronauts are also at risk. More solar flares mean more radiation and more danger for humans in orbit. At the same time, more space tourists and missions mean more people potentially in the sun's cosmic splash zone. At the same time, not everyone is buying into the whole CGC is back and ready to party theory. Some experts say it's a cool theory, but we shouldn't get carried away. The thing is, the proton flux, those space particles we've been watching, only started dropping last year. That's not a lot of time. It might just be a short-term dip, like the sun sneezed and now everyone's freaking out. Also, we've only been able to track this stuff properly for 30 to 40 years or so, which is basically nothing in sun time. So there's no solid before and after data to compare CGC cycles and say, yep, this is definitely a pattern. Plus, the CGC itself is kind of mysterious like no one can fully agree on what it even is, how it works, or how much it actually messes with sunspot cycles. It's like the Bigfoot of solar science, blurry, weird, and causing drama in group chats. But even skeptics admit that the new study is interesting and well-intentioned, and that it might help us predict future solar cycles better. We just need more time, more data, and better definition of the CGC before we treat it like the ultimate weather app for the sun. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.